Hello, my name is David Rochelleau, and for the next uh, minutes or so, we're going to be doing a brief tutorial on the ability within Kony to preview what a specific screen looks like on a particular device, be it Android, be it uh, iPhone, be it um, Blackberry, you know, etc. So really what we're going to be doing is, is seeing how a developer can iteratively understand what a screen is going to look like, not only from a general layout perspective, but also with actual sample or dummy data put into the screen. So for example, I have a, as a use case, an application, a screen within an application, where I'm entering in a search criteria in this text box. When I click the Find Products button, it then populates what Kony calls a segment. A segment is analogous to kind of a table view of information. So in this case, if I'm querying a product database, and I want to see you know, what, you know, what, the, what the product looks like. So I have an image on the left-hand side. I have you know, text on the right, you know, the name of the product, the sales price of the product, you know, all, all those kinds of things that you would expect from kind of a search result when querying a product database. Well, what we're going to be looking at today is what, what, what does this, look, this layout look like, uh, for example, on an Android emulator? So what I'm going to do is I just have this, I just drag and drop this screen layout and now I'm just going to run preview. And for today, we're just going to be focusing on the native side, and we're going to be focusing on Android. So I'm going to go ahead and run preview for Android. And notice that um, uh, in my emulator list, I've got uh, my Android emulators. All the developer has to do is right click and open up in preview. Now I've already got it open. So this is the Android emulator. So this is nothing to do with Kony specifically, but what's happening here is that Kony includes, as part of the Kony Studio environment, an application called Preview that then loads on, on the specific emulator. So we have Preview loaded in this Android emulator, and all I'm going to be doing is just clicking on Quick Preview, and that's going to load this layout in the Android environment. So here it is. Uh, again, not that pretty. Uh, there's, no, there's no data, for example. It's just, it's just pointing out that there's an image on the left hand side and there's some text that's going to be on the right not very compelling so what we're going to do is we're not going to have to close anything out we'll keep this window open and we'll go back to the studio environment we'll click on the segment and Kony has a concept within a segment of master data so what you're able to do is define okay I want to put in master data that is for preview mo mode only meaning that whatever I put in here won't show up in the production app it's really just there to help a developer, a you know, user experience person, understand what does this screen look like with data. So for my images, and you can see it, it obviously it, it brought over the, uh, you know, my images, my text, my labels, and so forth from the screen. And all I have to do is populate these images. So let's go ahead and populate uh, a PNG file for, for, one, for, the, for one thumbnail. We'll give it a, a text for the name, and we'll just call this, you know, since it's an Audi, we'll call it... Uh, a nice car and for the regular price I have no idea what a current Audi costs but we'll go ahead and put fifty thousand dollars for review rating you know we'll put uh, something like rating 4.2 and we also can put an image review so this would show like how many stars and and these images that you see here these are resource images that I have available in my resource for my project so I'll just go ahead and put in a, a five star rating for that I'll click OK. So now I've got master data defined for preview for this particular screen. So all I have to do as a developer is just click on preview, go ahead and select Android again. Now and it, you know, it only takes a few, you know, few milliseconds for it to complete. Go ahead and go back to my emulator. And all I have to do is click preview, a quick preview again. And what's happening is the information is being sent over the air, if you will, to the emulator and being updated in real time. So, you know, so now I have, so I have one row of data. It's, it's not very, it's still not quite compelling. It's, there's no separation from the foreground and background. Uh, so maybe I want to start focusing on that. So let's do a couple of things uh, from an iterative design perspective. Let's first change the background of my segment, meaning that I, I don't want it to be the transparent background uh, of, the, of, the, of the background image. 
So let's go ahead and change that. So all, we're, all we have to do is select the segment again. And again, there's all kinds of properties here that you know there's, there's documentation that goes into detail on. But we're going to be focusing on is the concept of skins. So skins in Coney speak is, is basically the CSS, the, 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 the look and feel of this particular, in this case, this particular widget. And you can certainly set defaults, uh, you know, uh, basically a style sheet for the entire project, but you can also obviously override that, and that's what we're going to be doing here. So for the widget skin, I'm going to go ahead and change that to something a little more kind of, you know, from a contrast perspective, stands out from, you know, from what I'm seeing. Now I can select it here, but another nice thing that Coney provides is, you know, what does this actually look like? So I'm going to go ahead and select white round focus, and it gives you a quick preview, another preview option, of what this particular skin will look like, um, you know, as, as I enable it. So let's go ahead and click that. And we're also going to add, uh, add some more data here. So from a master data perspective, I want more than just one row of results. So let's go ahead and add, I don't know, a, uh, let's pick, pick on BMW now and uh, a really fast car. And they're probably more expensive. Rating, let's say 4.5, and we'll still give it five stars because we're just playing around. And for kicks, let's go ahead and add another row. And we'll just go we'll alternate back and forth. And, and another thing that a designer may want to do is kind of understand outliers. So, so far my, my labels, my, my names of products have been fairly short, but you know, you never know from the service perspective, I may be getting back very long and complicated product names. So it's always good to kind of put in an outlier, a really fast and nice car that has cool things. <laughs> just something to just see, you know, we'll just put a bunch of other text in there too. And we'll, we'll make it uh, something like 100,000. And we'll give it a rating of five. And again, we'll pick on the five star. So now I've, I've added multiple rows now, and I've also added a skin to the segment. So let's go ahead and run preview again. Go back to, this, to the emulator. Click on menu. Refresh basically is what the quick, uh, quick preview does. So it's getting an over-the-air update to this application. And now you can see there's, there's some distinction now between the, the results that are being populated in the segment and the background. Now, something else that um, I may want to do, and you know, say I, let, let's add a couple more rows of cars and, and maybe play around with some other rendering options. Again, just to kind of showcase the ability for a designer to iteratively change things on the fly. So let's go back to the studio environment. And in my segment, I want to add a couple more rows of data, and let's go ahead and just pick another BMW. Great car, and it's fast too. And we'll go ahead and just put in some dummy data. Again, no, no points for being creative here. We'll, we'll give this a lesser rating, say 3.9. So we'll only give this a four star. And one more. Just to mix things up, we'll go ahead and pick another BMW. And we'll give this a low rating of a 2.3. And we'll give it a three star. So we've got multiple rows of data, but now there's some other things that we can play with here. So earlier we looked at the skin of the segment. Well, well, within the segment itself, I also may want to have different views for different rows, you know, kind of to separate the different rows of data. So let's go ahead and look at our options there. And so for an alternate row, I could pick on, you know, uh, a different type of view. So there's blue round, but let's see what that actually looks like. So blue round is going to be obviously a different color background than what we're looking at, but let's, let's go ahead and select that. So now what we've done is we've added a couple more rows of data, and we've changed the, uh, the skinning to showcase that every alternate row will have a different look. So let's go ahead and run preview again. And let's go back to the emulator. So again, there's not too many rows here, but uh, let's see what happens. 
So again, you know, we're just showcasing the ability within the app to let a designer understand, you know, how, how does this actually look? Now, right away, I can see some problems. I have a static image from my star ratings. So if I did decide to make the, the alternate rows <laughs> a different color, you know, it kind of doesn't look at all very nice. So these are the kind of things that would, would quickly come up uh, with, from a design perspective to let you understand, hey, we better not use that or we need to be a little more creative in certain areas. Now, some other more advanced kind of things that you can do with a segment in, in, you know, in conjunction with preview is that right now we have more or less a table view of the results. But Coney being Coney, we have all kinds of cool options here for how I want to display the data. So for example, as I scroll down, I can uh, change the view type of how the information is being displayed from a table view, and there's all kinds of options here. I can do cover flow, uh, th you know, things that are, I'm not even really you know, uh, uh, you know, familiar with, like an inverted rota rotary uh, view. But you can also do like, things like a page view. So I'm just going to select that, and we can see what that's going to look like uh, in real time. So I ran preview again, went back to the emulator, click on uh, quick preview, and again getting the over the air update. So now, wait, wait, what happened? I only have one row, but again I changed the, the view type to be a different kind of flow of how this information is going to be looking. And again, this is you know probably not the right use case for this kind of capability, but again it lets a designer understand how this is going to look like uh, in the particular application. So, you know, if I really were to think about this, the best, the best option for me is not to have that particular layout. So let's go back. We'll change it to the table view that we originally had. And we'll change those skins, the alternate row. We will, we'll disable that. We'll go ahead and go back to the uh, skin defaults. We'll click preview again. And generally speaking, from a design perspective, again, the value proposition of Coney, obviously, is this notion of writing once and running everywhere. But from a design perspective, typically what we see developers do is getting it, to, you know, get it looking right on one platform, and then you can start tweaking it to, uh, to render the way you want it to on all these other platforms that we support. So there you have it. I, I've, I've got my search results uh, for my sample app. Um, I've changed you know, some layouts. I've changed some backgrounds. I've added data and so forth. And I was able to do that literally in, in near time as I make changes in the studio environment, see how those changes are reflected in a, in a particular uh, emulator, in this case the Android. But again, as, as, as you may know, Coney certainly supports this kind of preview functionality in iPhone and Blackberry and Windows Phone 7, 7, 5, and 8 when it comes out. So again, this ability to see what this specific screen and this particular project looks like uh, on all these devices that we support. Thank you very much.